Hello again, everyone. This is uh, Zombie Kids Rule, and uh, I wanted to show you this really, really fast tutorial on uh, creating an array using numbers, so a number array, and then adding to that array. So how do you add uh, a number to that array? And I want to do this first because I have another tutorial that I've been working on um, about uh, random encounters, random uh, enemy selection, random placement of enemies on a map, uh, you know, random uh, appearance of, uh, of, of enemies. And as I was doing that, uh, I realized that I could do it better, and so I was I was messing around with with this uh, with this number array, and um, and I figured out how to do something better. So I wanted to show it to you as context for this next upcoming video. Uh, in my dialogue videos uh, for my tutorials with dialogue, I did show some arrays using words, right? So we were using um, text uh, words inside the array. And that works perfectly fine, but with numbers, you have to do something just a tiny bit different. And so I needed to test it and, and, and play around with it and make it, you know, make sure it was working correctly. Uh, and I couldn't find anything directly on this. I had to kind of piece some things together, which is why I'm making this tutorial. So let me show you what it does first, and then um, hopefully this will help folks. So I made a very, very quick little test. This guy here, he says, I will tell you a magic number. And now he, now he, that has created an array with the values 1, 2, 3, and 4. So he's going to randomly pick one of those numbers, but, and then, and then we're going to not have them. So it's going to be, so 3, 2, 4, 1, and now the array is empty. He's going to reset. I will tell you a magic number. Okay, but now, now the array is reset. Um, this lady over here, she is going to, I added five to the magic numbers as a bonus. So now when we talk to this guy, it's going to be one through five. Two, one, five, there's the five, that wasn't there before, three, and then the last one should be four. Now, if we talk to him again, the array is reset, but five won't be part of it. So it's going to be three, one, two, four, and then the array gets reset again. So uh, in order to add that to the array uh, that we're using, we would have to talk to this um, NPC here. Okay, so that's that's the simple test I did because first I needed to figure out how to make an array using numbers because I had previously used arrays using words or using text. And so I, I needed to validate that I knew how to make an array using numbers because I, I don't know JavaScript, right? I'm, I'm learning all this new. And then I had to figure out how do you add to an array once you've created it. And that took me a little while to figure out. So, um, and I, like I said, I had to go on a, you know, found something about just JavaScript in general, and I didn't find anything directly on point with RPG Maker. So it took me a little while to do this. So here we go. This guy, um, this event, it's, uh, we're not going to worry about any of this stuff. We're just going to figure out what we're doing. So very similar to the, um, the uh, dialogue tutorials where I used arrays in the dialogue, we're creating an array using a variable. So I just used one of my previous variables, uh, random number. Um, you, you, you don't want to reuse variables unless you know for a fact the game doesn't have to save that somewhere, right? Um, so you know, with some of my tests, I'm, I'm very loose about reusing variables because I know that I'm not doing a cohesive game, right? And so I'm just doing testing one thing at a time, so there's not going to be any conflict. So just remember, if, if, you, if you know that the name has, if you know that the game has to save a variable and, you know, and keep that value, then you can't reuse it a bunch of times. So just in case anybody gets confused, because I do reuse variables a lot in my tests. So I, I, I took a variable random number and I created an array. And to create an array, you just go um, script. So you, you choose your variable. So control variables, you choose your variable. 
uh, select script, right? So set, operation is set, script, and then anything that is between the brackets is in your array. So with, a, with numbers, it's very easy. It's just the number and they're offset by commas, right? So they're, they're uh, comma separated. If it's text, like you saw in my dialogue tutorial, you have to use quotation marks. And anything in quotation marks is what's going to be stored in the array. So you, you, you know, because we're just using numbers here, we're just, you know, using one comma two comma three four. And that's creating the array. This, I'm just setting the value that I'm going to use to display uh, array number at, at, at zero. You don't really have to do that. It, I mean, it's it's going to be zero when you when when you know when the game starts. But I'm just doing that anyway because um, I'm gonna I wanted to make sure I had that value created. I had that variable created. So then we have the text uh, of this numbers guy. I will tell you a magic number, and then it uh, control self switch A is turned on, so it will advance the page. This page is where we're doing the. Um, randomly selecting a value from the array okay and then we're going to save that value into another variable and then we're going to take that value out of the array so that we so that it won't repeat right we don't if we if we left this part off then the array would have four values and it would it would always have four values what we're doing here is we're taking whichever value is selected away so that it can't repeat it until we reload the array and so i demonstrated this in the in the um um in the dialogue tutorial and it's only slightly different instead of words so when we were using text uh instead of we used words so instead of words we used numbers and then equal math dot random int and remember capitals make a difference and then uh, the parentheses dollar sign game variables dot value 21 is the uh, value of the variable that we're using the array dot length okay and that's that's a that's a essentially randomly selecting a value from the array then this next script part is uh, dollar sign game variables dot set value and so we're setting a value of variable 22 and we're going to the value we're going to set it to is the um, value from the array so dollar sign game variables dot value 21 which was the array and then we're using these brackets and we're using again numbers so it, when we were doing dialogue we used words and now we're just replacing that with numbers and you know believe it or not it took me a little while to find, find that and to, and to play around with it to make sure that's actually the way to do it and then the last part is we are taking that value that we that we randomly called from the array and we're removing it from the array uh, until we reload it right the the array gets empty and then we reload it so it's dollar sign game variables dot value so we're we're looking at the value of the array 21 is the variable dot splice right like think cutting taking out and then we're using numbers and one here all right and all those together are going is is the script that you want to put um, when when you're doing this so the first part of it is going to be what randomly chooses a value from the array the second part is taking that value and saving it into another variable that we can use and then this last part is removing that value that was chosen from the array um, so so that it doesn't appear again until the array empties and then we reload the array and then so the the numbers guy will say hey your magic number is slash v for variable brackets 22 so that was the that was the variable we chose you know for the uh for the value and then it's going to check and say okay if and we're going to use a script so a conditional statement this a conditional branch this is just like in the dialogue for arrays uh if the script dollar sign game variables dot value 21 so this is the array again is um basically 
this is saying if it's empty, if, if it has no value, right, then it's going to turn on a control switch A to advance the page. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it's turning off the control switch A here to send the page back to page one, okay? And so uh, here we are in our conditional branch. We are on the fourth page under script, and here's your script, okay? So this is basically checking to see if the array is empty. And, you know, we don't have to use an else branch or anything. So once it does that, um, so if it's, if it's not empty, then the, the, the event's going to stop right here until we call it again, until we, you know, select this person again. If it is empty, it turns off self switch A, which sends it back to page one, which reloads the array, resets the array number to zero, which is perfectly fine because we're going to you know, randomly choose something different. And he says his thing again, it advances to page, um, it advances, it sets the self switch A, so it advances to page two. And then um, both of these are action button. Okay, so both are just action button. That's how this guy works. And then, so with this, this NPC over here, this is where we're adding to that array. So nothing, nothing magical happening over here, just regular old um, NPC stuff, sprite and they're standing still and action button. What we want to do here, this is the script that we're using to add to the array. So we're pushing, we're pushing a, a value to the array. So dollar sign game variables dot value and then in parentheses 21. So we're identifying variable 21 dot push. And then it's whatever, whatever we want to add to that array, we put in those parentheses. And you could do comma separations to add more values, right? So we are pushing a value to that array. And once we do that, the numbers gal says, hey, I added five to the magic numbers as a bonus. And she's done, right? She, she doesn't have to do anything else. Um, nothing fancy here. We're not, I'm not trying to, you know, do anything, you know, super fancy or anything. It's just a quick test. So that's all, it, that's, that's it. So if you want to create a variable, I'm, I'm sorry, if you want to create an array with numbers in it, you, you, you do it this way. You, you select a variable and then in the script, right, in the script uh, uh, option, you uh, put whatever you want for numbers in brackets and that's your array, right, and comma separated. And then um, over here, this is all where all that magic happens, right? We, we use the first part of the script to randomly select from the array, the second part to take that value we pulled from the array and, and save it in another variable, and then the third part of the script, we are cutting out, right? We're splicing that, uh, that value that we randomly selected from the array so that it, it's not available again to use. And then this script is the one that's checking to see, okay, is my array empty? Because because once I've gone through this four times, my array is going to be empty, and then that means I have to go back and refill the array again. And um, this NPC here is just showing the script for how you push or add a value to um, the the array. Okay, and I'm I haven't tested it yet, so I, I probably shouldn't say this, but I think it's probably safe. You could do the same thing with the text um, for the array, right? Like words, uh, if you're using the words option, uh, you would just have to dot push, and then uh, you would probably have to put uh, quotation marks, right, for for whatever you were adding as a value. Now I haven't tested that, so um, you know I could be wrong, and and maybe I'll test it. Uh, in the future, but so that is how you add you you create an array using with numbers stored in it, and then you add to it. And this is going to be relevant to the next tutorial I do on that whole random uh, encounter, uh, random placement or calling of encounters, random uh, monsters that you uh, engage with, and and that sort of thing. So uh, stay tuned for that. If if this was helpful. 
awesome. If you were specifically looking for this and you found it, that that's why I'm making these tutorials. Um, if if uh, this channel is helpful to you, you know, please like, subscribe, get notifications. You know, my understanding is is that that you know makes it so it's easier for people to find these videos. Um, leave comments. You know, I love comments. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know if there's you know uh, you know uh, cool things that you thought of that you can use some of this stuff. Um, you know, and again, if you want to share resources, feel free to do that in the comments as well. Uh, and that way everybody um, uh, benefits from them. So thank you very much, folks. I'm glad you found me. I uh, hope you find my tutorials helpful. You know, watch my other ones and let me know what you think uh, if you haven't watched them already. And, uh, you know, happy gaming, happy game development, and I will see you all another time. Thank you.